Hi, everybody. Hi. My name is Holly Irene Cardoza, and I am going to show you today how to make cardboard salmon for Run for Salmon, and also how I make the buttons for Run for Salmon. I do something called expanded learning a lot with the kids that I work with. I do work in the schools. However, I usually work the before and after school program. Um, I also sometimes work as a substitute teacher and I also work summer camp. And so for a lot of my work that I do with the kids, I'm doing some things that are, that have been cut out of the schools. So I do a lot of art with the kids. I do music. I do dance. Um, we do a lot of physical education. Uh, we do different projects. Lots of, lots of things we do in the uh, both after school, before school, and summer camp. And that's called expanded learning. Now, the cardboard salmon, I'm going to show you some examples that people have done over the years. Here's a cardboard salmon for Run for Salmon. Here's a cardboard salmon for Run for Salmon. Here's a cardboard salmon for Run for Salmon. Here's another one. And here's another one. Now all of these fish have been done by kids of all ages. Um, I set up a table or a booth during the run. I also do that at different times during the year. I set up at the Martinez Beaver Festival. And other, other things like I've been at the One Love One Heart Reggae Festival. Um, I've done a Maker Fair. Um, just various things, just various things. And how this came about, I'm going to show you how to cut. How this came about is my friend Trish Osborne and I, we did a run for salmon booth in Mount Shasta. Here, I'm starting to cut it out. And she does a big project where she has a, a backdrop and she pins little pink fish along the way as people donate. There, I just cut one out. And now I use a variety of art material. I usually put out paint, crayons, markers. Usually the kids tell me they want to paint. So I'm just going to put a little bit of paint on this fish. Yeah, so Trish Osborne was... Um, she does the backdrop, and when you donate to Run for Salmon, you get a little pink fish that is safety pinned on there. And it was something about our conversation that day where the idea for the to make the cardboard fishes for Run for Salmon um, happened. And so I started doing that during the second year of Run for Salmon, and I've done it every year since. Here we go. And then once it's dried, you can decorate it however you want. What we then do is we put a, a little hole in it. Right here you can see I poked a hole already. Poked a hole. Um, sometimes I need something just a little bit round to make it nice. Okay. All right. And then usually I have twine, but I'm in the classroom right now and there was some yarn. And I take it and I put it on a string, okay? And then I hang it up at the booth or the festival or wherever I'm at or on the run itself, um, wherever we're at that day and I hang them. I hang them up and um, yay! I have a bunch of them that I want to make into an art project. 
I have the fish from the second year, the third year, the fourth year, and this is the fifth year. So anything made this year will also be part of the art art project. And you are willing, you are, we encourage you to submit your fishes and to also keep one for yourself, but to also take a picture of them and post them online for us. Now the second part of the project, once you have your fish done, that, that could be it, is to make water for the fish. Now I heard Chief say, might have been at the end of the first year, I heard her say that the fish are coming back, the salmon are coming back, but that she feels a little guilty about them coming back to such dirty water. And I really heard that. And so I made a second part of the art project, which is to make clean water for our fish. And I had a, um, it was like a, a, a red plastic piece that had some swirls on it and stuff. And you take a piece of paper with a crayon and you go over it. And I don't know what happened to it. Um, somewhere along the line, it's, it's gone. But it occurred to me that I could do the same thing with just glue. So I, I took the back of a, of a graham cracker box and I just put glue on there for the water. And then I put a piece of paper over it. I already did it, you can see, but I'm just going to show you again how to do it. Okay. And then there's the water. And then the idea is that you take the fish and you put it on the water. So I'm just going to take a glue stick right here and put it on the water. And there we go. Now, once that's dry, we can write things on there. And you can also punch a hole right here and you can hang that as well. A lot of times I take this and I actually paste it onto another board, usually made out of a cereal box or, or something like that. Now the other part that I do on the run are the buttons. And this is my button machine. I call it a machine. It's not, there's nothing electric to it. It's a button maker presser. This is the cutter. This is what makes the circle for the button. Now I've already cut these, but I wanted to just show you what, what it looks like. Whoa. There we go. Woohoo. Now, first what we do is we take the backing, like the shell of a turtle, and we put it down. And then we take our image, which this year, our image, I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to put the little shiny part on it. Twirl around, press it real hard. Here's the backing. Do it one more time. Woo! I am so strong. And then you have a button. You just take it and twist the back so that the the pin is where you want it, and then you have a run for salmon button. I'm going to do one more design. Here's another design. Okay, take the back, your image. I, when I do that, it's being held up here. And now I'm going to smush it one more time. Try not to move the phone. And there we go. Your second button. So thanks everybody for watching.
Take care. Run for salmon!